everybody today we're gonna have quite a fun video because we're gonna talk about shopping I know that the shopping tourism in London is such a big thing this is why I wanted to record a video with my tips where to shop what to buy this video will also be a collective haul and my all-time favorites so let's check it out okay I would like to start with something that is let's say the most expensive luxury I really think buying luxury in London is a good idea if you are planning to buy luxury products in general because I know in most of the countries prices are a bit higher and also pound is very weak at the moment so if you change the currency to the British pound you might find out that you will pay less for the product you know luxury is such a big topic everybody wants something different I will show you my two favorite picks that are luxury that I'm very satisfied with and I know in other countries they can cost a bit more okay number one is this wallet I really think that Louis Vuitton canvas is the material that you will never break you will have it till the end of your life you can also put your initials here my favorite thing in this wallet is you can take out this part so it's like two in one so if I have a big bag with me I will take everything but if I'm going somewhere with a tiny bag like a clutch I will only take this thing okay my second favorite luxury pick from London is here it's again Louis Vuitton I'm guilty like it's my guilty pleasure you know I love this and this is Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier size 25 well it's a perfect casual bag for me like kind of everyday style because it's not too dressy and again what I like in that is kind of two-in-one thing because you can wear it with the strap but if you take the strap off can just carry it this way you can fit everything here like I tend to carry a lot of things like a camel and in this bag I can have everything I did my surname here because you can personalize it with up to three letters also depends what kind of letters because if it's W it might be a bit problematic the second place I really recommend you shopping in is the museums let's start with the merch so for example small gift from the Sherlock Holmes Museum which is this oyster card case bookmark key rings also museums they have beautiful stationery and I will show you my favorite is 2018 calendar I bought in Saatchi gallery <laughs> it's ridiculous and now most interesting books they have great positions this book I bought in Tate's it explains the modern art very well so always if I have somebody laughing at modern art and say oh my child would do it better as the title says I'm telling them read this book another very good book I bought in the museum it wasn't in the museum it was in Somerset house they had this exhibition about perfumes I went there and I picked up this book that is all about perfumes and it's very very interesting and now another great place to do your shopping while you are in London there are the street markets and I will show you the items I picked up in Camden Town I really love shopping there because you find things that are just unique you know you will go back to your country and nobody will have this item Nick Cave t-shirt I paid for that maybe 12 15 pounds my old saggy Frida Kahlo jumper I wear it so much and also I bought it in Camden Street Market it was maybe 25 30 pounds the new purchase from the same place as I bought the uh, Frida Kahlo jumper is the Salvador Dali t-shirt it's a bit oversized because it's men and they didn't have like extra small or something but I love this t-shirt 
Ah, and I forgot, this one was maybe 15-20 pounds, I don't remember exactly. As you know, in London, a lot of artists and a lot of musicians were leaving and you can buy something that they were also buying. As one of my favorite musicians is Amy Winehouse, I went to the shop called Freed of London. And what is this shop? It's the shop with professional clothes for ballet dancers. And you know, Amy Winehouse was buying her ballet shoes over there. So I couldn't stop myself. And what did I buy? Ballet shoes. They are the real professional ballet shoes. The only problem is you cannot wear them outside, obviously, look at them. The lady in the shop told me they are the shoes for like indoor ballet classes. I just bought them because I wanted to have Amy Winehouse ballet shoes. I might wear them at home, but I don't know. I just never did. Uh, but they also have these ballet shoes that you can actually wear outside and you can rock it. The secret about Amy Winehouse and these shoes that she was buying like 60 pairs at once and once they were used she would just throw them away and she would take another pair. This is how she was rocking these shoes. And they were not very expensive. I think it was 15 pounds or 12 pounds for the pair, something like that. And also if you are the professional ballet dancer, just go there. Another destination charity shops. Guys, charity shops are great place to shop because you will find items that normally cost quite a lot of money. They are good quality for like pennies. And what is also very important thing, you will support the charity of your choice. For me, there is one rule of charity shopping. Fancier the neighborhood, better items in the charity shops. So if you are looking for something very good, go to the neighborhoods like Nicebridge. In there, they will also have the luxury items. My favorite picks from charity shops, starting with clothes, this is the shirt I'm wearing. This shirt is 100% silk. It's from Race, which is quite pricey. I think British brand. And I found it in the charity shop and I paid for that maybe five pounds or something like that. I went to the race website and tried to find something made of silk and the only long sleeve I found was this one and it cost 175 pounds. I think this is my favorite pick from the charity shops ever, Karen Millen coat. It's like a long blazer, amazing quality. And when I bought it, it was new. Still the pockets were sewn. Guess how much I paid for that? 12 pounds. And how much these coats are in the shop? I didn't find anything that would be like very similar to my coat. But here we've got the blazer. And now on sale it's 75 pounds. It was 150. Charity shops are not only clothes and the bags and shoes and things like that. You will find everything there. And would you have to take a look at? Books. Why? Because I know abroad, books in English, they tend to be quite pricey. In the charity shop, books are just £1, 50p, £2 maximum. And I have plenty of books from the charity shops, but I will just show you two. What I found once was the Sneak Cave book. I haven't started reading it yet, it's on my way, but I reckon I didn't pay for that more than two pounds. And all of these Teague Larson's books, I have them all. Two pounds for this book. Talking about books, there is the place called Book Warehouse. You find a lot of books there and especially albums with photos, you know, Tashen. Tashen is very expensive. And in there you will find it cheaper. I will show you. For example, Bukowski. And I don't see the price. I reckon it was like two pounds per each. And here we've got recommended retail price of 
$8.99. So I, I know they are always stuck with Bukowski. They are also having a lot of classics. Looking for some nice looking souvenirs, but you don't want to spend too much money. I will tell you where to buy it. Harrods. Harrods, Harrods is expensive. Harrods is like luxury. No. I will tell you why. Because Harrods, they have their own range of small things, souvenirs, bags, and also sweets, cookies, teas, everything. And let's say they are more pricey than Tesco's, but they are not breaking the bank. See, I bought myself this tiny little thing. And this is like a small keyring bag. And how much did I pay for that? Six pounds. Also, they have quite a big selections of key rings, like this typical British London key rings. And I bought myself this one and it was maybe five, six quid as well. Now we are going to talk about probably my favorite place to shop. I'm a TK Maxx queen. Maybe let's start with like beauty makeup things. Take a look at perfumes. They are usually cheaper than any other drugstore or shop. The only bad thing about perfumes in TK Maxx is you cannot smell them before you buy them because they are all sealed. Here I've got Versace Vanitas. I happened to be in TK Maxx once and I saw this and it was cheap. I think for 50 milliliters at the time it was maybe 12 pounds. And I'm like, okay, it will be just like everyday thing, you know, for work or for the supermarket, something like that. I smelled it at home, I felt in love. This is my second bottle or maybe third, it's 100 milliliters already and I bought it somewhere else because obviously I couldn't find it in TK Maxx anymore. There is also a trick with makeup in TK Maxx. They have a lot of brands that are considered to be on the pricey side, but the problem is a lot of them are already open because people want to try, people want to swatch. Try to see the ones that are sealed properly, nobody opened that before and you're gonna be fine. What I bought is the Stila foil eyeshadow and I got it in TK Maxx, paid for that five pounds. I found exact same eyeshadow on the Stila UK website and look, £33.50 p. Another pick, the Balm eyeshadow palettes. And let's check the price on the website, how much is it? £32. And I found it in TK Maxx, paid £12. My correction glasses, they are the Gucci ones. And I just love them. And what I did, I bought them in TK Maxx and I put the correction glasses in Poland after I had my eyes checked. In TK Maxx I found them for £90 and let's take a look how much are they on the website. I found something very similar and it cost £215. Another goodie is this Michael Kors small bag and you know what I'm not really into Michael Kors to be honest. Okay I will show you some items and you, you would say yes you are. But I wouldn't go to the Michael Kors shop to buy something for the full price over there. I just don't know. I, I think it's not worth it. I would rather save up some more money for something better. But I found this bag in TK Maxx. I paid for that £60. And in the end of the day, it's not a bad bag because everything fits in there. It's quite comfortable and the color is quite neutral. £60 in TK Maxx. How much on the website? This one is very similar. The only difference is this chain that I don't have on a strap and it cost £160. Talking about me not liking Michael Kors, this is the Michael Kors watch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, it's from TK Maxx. Obviously, I didn't go to Michael Kors to buy it. And in TK Maxx, I paid for that £100. Exactly same watch on the House of Fraser's website is £146.30. Last but not least from TK Maxx, bag. So this is Rolf Lauren bag. It's like Hermes wannabe a bit. It's my dump bag, I would call it. And again, you can fit quite a lot of things in there. And in TK Maxx I found this bag and I paid for that I think 170 quid. 
This bag is pretty similar to the one I have and on the official website it's £310. So let's close the TK Maxx case now because I can be talking about it forever. Okay, let's move to the drug stores like super drug boots, things like that. I would recommend you to take a look at the makeup and perfumes because it might be a bit cheaper than in other countries. They really often have deals on perfumes and sometimes it's even better than buying perfumes on the duty free at the airport. This is my best scent ever. If I could choose just one fragrance that I will be wearing till the rest of my life will be this. If we talk about makeup, don't forget about this drugstore range of makeup because some of these products are very good and they are not very expensive. What is perfect in super drug boots, places like that, they very often do promotions. Buy two, get one free. Or buy one, get another 50% off. Take a look at this brand, Bourjois. My favorite mascaras that are from the drugstore are actually Bourjois mascaras. Oh, sorry guys, I'm not really like makeup specialist or something like that, so I'll be just going with the flow, okay? This Rouge Edition Velvet lipsticks my favorite thing is this red i don't know what's the shade number because it's not written anywhere but it's kind of cold red if you know what i mean yeah <laughs> we talked about harrods now we're gonna talk about self fridges things can be very pricey but things can be affordable if you are into makeup again this brand you will find them in self fridges it's called zoeva this is the best eyeshadow palette Ever. and you find them in selfridges on the ground floor and they cost about 17 18 pounds makeup again go to benefit and if you have very light skin like i do i tend to have a bit of the problem with this like bronzing powders you know what i mean because they look very heavy and i don't know i just look like i'm dirty so they came up with this hula light and it's supposed to match this skin skin that is very light as as the name says light, light and the last thing that you might consider buying in self ridges is this clinic sticks how it's called chubby stick oh chubby stick clinic chubby stick i think it's okay because you use it as a blush and they are this kind of thing <laughs> you just paint it over your cheeks and then you kind of blend it and I think blush looks more natural than the powder one I don't know like I think I find it like more comfortable to use this kind of things rather than you know this powder because with this powder I look like matryoshka now I'm going to talk about the shops that are very nice but I'm not going to show you items because maybe I have too many or it's too general Another destination is this designer outlet in Wembley. Well, it's not exactly designer for me because I don't see like designer clothes there, but they have brands and they have outlets there. So Martins, they have the shop there much more cheaper than in the original shop. Another shop that is super cheap there, H&M. Another one, it's Marks and Spencers and I really like Marks and Spencers like basic clothes and they have a big shop over there it's much more cheap than in Marks and Spencers normally the only problem is sizes because if you are like very slim woman and you wear size 6 or 4 you will have a bit of the problems over there as I had because I was chasing for size 4 or 6 on the items and I couldn't really find anything because size in there they usually start from 8 or 10 now big chains British one like Topshop, River Island or maybe Inditex like Zara, Bershka, Stradivarius, Massimo Dutti it's great to shop there but not always I will tell you why because for example Inditex they are much more cheaper in Spain because they are the Spanish brand obviously and I think the quality of the clothes doesn't really match with the price for me. When it's really worth shopping in chains, sales. Twice 
a year there are these huge sales that it's really worth going there after boxing day and the summer sale which is like beginning of july don't come exactly after the boxing day come a month after or something like that they will still have quite a lot of stock but you know they have the price cut every single week so wait till it gets to like minus 50 60 70 percent then it's worth shopping there and the last destination our favorite Primark oh my god guys everybody loves Primark I think so so I will not be showing you all of the clothes I've got from Primark because I've got plenty I think if you are a tourist the best destination to shop in Primark is the Primark on Oxford Street which is located on Tottenham Court Road there are two big Primarks on Oxford Street one is Marble Arch one is Tottenham Court Road don't go to this marble arch one because it's much more smaller it's a lot of people there and you will not be able to walk plus i think they only have one fitting room for ladies this tottenham court road though is the newest primark it's huge they have a lot of fitting rooms they even have toilets they have cafe they have everything what is worth buying in primark i think not everything i will surprise you you really need to take a look at each single item to judge the quality of that because quality may vary for sure it's nice to buy pajamas in primark they have a lot of cute socks they have a lot of nice underwear for the ladies the bra sizes they come in each single size possible and they are cute so whatever are your measurements you will find something for yourself Things that are very trendy, that today they are trendy, but the week after they are out. Buy it in Primark because it's cheap. You know, there is no point of spending your money in, for example, Topshop, buy something for £50. If you probably will find something very, very similar in Primark and it will cost you £3. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you are going to shop in London, try to visit these places because it's worth it i know now it's right after the boxing day a lot of you guys will be going to london for shopping this is the best time to do it sales are going on just remember take a big suitcase with you because you're gonna take a lot of things back home me and my cat shula want to thank you very much for watching this video and we hope to see you next time bye bye